Hello and welcome back to Fallout New Vegas. I'm Private Potato Gaming. Back with what should be episode. Well, episode 3. And we're still in the town of Prim. Still night out. Now, we rescued Deputy Dimwit. It didn't take much effort. Now, before I move on from the town of Prim. I just wanted to stop in. There's two things I need to do. I need to stop in here at the Mojave Express. And I need to go and deal with the rest of the convicts held up at the top there. Now, when I left off last episode, I did have one small issue. Well, there were a few issues, but for now, the video should actually be more or less watchable during the night sequences because, well, I boosted the gamma on OBS, and two, this revolver, the Lucky 357 Magnum, is fixed now, and damn does it look good. Now I wanted to stop by and have a look at this poor soul, Daniel Wyatt. He's got Mojave Express delivery, order 4 out of 6. We had, I think, number 6 out of 6. Our one wasn't delivered because we kind of got shot in the bullet. What precisely did he have? Two oversized dice composed of fuzzy material. Now if only it had a low rider or something to actually put that in. I'm trying to think what other vehicles do you actually put fuzzy dice in? I suppose every single tourist vehicle from Las Vegas as a pair of fuzzy dice. You know the kind you probably get at a cheap um, at a basic gift shop. Let's have a quick look at the Nash residence slash the Mojave outpost. Well, Mojave Express box. You have discovered a new Mojave Express drop box. You can have items delivered to this location as well as other locations. Hey, oh, I can actually have stuff shipped back to Good Springs. Well, I'm not going to steal from the Nashes, but I am going to poke through whatever they have. Yeah, nothing much. I'm going to turn that off. And we've got a damaged robot, iBot model. Let's see if I can fix it. Repair 65 or higher. Demon electronics. Damn it. Okay, we're going to come back for this one. I think if I can get it fixed, maybe it'll let me keep it. But now we need to just go over the road. Is there anything good in here? Bottle caps. Always check the trash cans. You'll find some surprisingly good stuff in these trash cans. Sometimes a grenade, sometimes money. Okay, it's still freaking dark in here. Turn that on. Now we're just going... I can't even crack this sucker open. Dang it. I don't have anything to open that. We're just going to quickly move along. Clipboard. Dead con. Okay. Now, there were some upper floors to this building. Ooh, Nuka Cola. And Mentats. Mix those two together, and I think you get a bottle rocket. I wonder if I need to boost the camera a bit more. Hopefully, I can't. I can barely see any of this <laughs> myself. Thank goodness for that light. Over here. Room service. Got him once. My gun skill is low. But the power of the 357 Magnum more than makes up for that. 
Wish my frame rate would play ball. Damn it. Got him on. What the hell is that? My armor. Something's about to break. I think it's the hat. Yeah, I'm underestimating these guys badly. Uh, let's go for the Glock. Ow. That was pretty damn bad. No, I just need stim packs. Come on, boys. I don't want to. Ow, ow. They want to play rough. Dynamite, dynamite. I don't know why my frame rate sucks. This was a mistake. And I can't, I can't even see a thing. Murder the rest of you for throwing dynamite at me. They killed him. I've got to get a bigger mag for this flipping block because eight rounds is stupid. He's down. Anybody else want to play? He does. And we finally leveled up. Okay, I can go and crack that door before we head back out, but... Holy cow, they kicked the ever-loving stuffing out of me. I came in here so confident and then they just tore me apart with whatever guns they've got. Ooh, I need that perk. Yeah, no wonder he wasn't doing much damage. He had a uh, gyro jet. And of course I was being shot with a freaking G36. That hurts. I'm gonna take their gear and then I'm gonna scrap some of it just so that I can move. But my priority was just to come up here, grab some gear. I knew they had there's some like weaponry, some useful gear up here. Stuff that I'm gonna need before I head back out into the wasteland, but what I'll do is I'll loot up and cut to me being outside obviously well I've had to come back to Victor's shack because that's where I'm storing all my crap and after clearing through that entire hotel I picked up a few pieces of gear but suffice to say that was a very bad idea walking in there as unprepared as I was because this is what I more or less found in some of the bedrooms not bedrooms hotel rooms so the, some of the convicts were able to grab G36 rifles of different types, so we've got MG36, we've got a DMR G36. This is what I found. I also found enough 556 to start a small war. I'm going to keep the 556. As for all this gear, I don't really need this much gear. It's all too expensive to go and sell. I mean, 5 grand, 5 grand, 5 grand. That one's that 36C is. About 4,000 caps. No point in me really uh, selling that because then I'd be setting myself up way too good. Now, I'm going to dump some of the loot from the, from the Bison Steve. And then we're going to head back on out. Well, we're going back out into the wasteland. So, we're done with Prim for the time being. I will deal with the, picking the next sheriff sometime. I just don't really care about it at, at this interim. I might go and see, apparently there's a sheriff up north. I can go and get the NCR, or I can apparently program the tin can in the casino. But for now, we're going to head on out. Besides, it's a beautiful day. Why waste it stuck in Prim? I mean, look at that sky. Now...
Well, that's definitely not a regular person. We're gonna go investigate that, but let's just take a little walk. And who do we have here? More convicts? Yeah. I have yet to find a convict capable of stopping a 760 by 51 millimeter round. It's fast, it's powerful, and it's good up to about 800 meters. I mean, these guys aren't particularly well armed. And that's just a teensy little piece of him. This must have been the local highway patrol. Yep, Nevada Highway Patrol. Uh, my Remington's not going to be very good in that close quarters. Let's get the M37 out. I mean, as far as futuristic police cars go, that's actually a pretty cool design. So it's retro, but it still incorporates what presumably would be a nuclear-powered turbine. Cool though, if you could crack one of these open like a container and you find a random... Oh, ah, ah. Ow! She got me! Yeah, you're damned. You're done. She caught me right in the head. I gotta get a better helmet. I keep getting popped in the head and then the issue is that... That throws everything out of whack. So, she's got... Oh, she's got a... Had a liver action. Cowboy repeater, but in 45. Cowboy car burn. I mean, all seriousness, this looks pretty dang good. Very odd that there's chambered in 45. Anyway. If there were... Well, there were two over there, two over there, so we can expect more in here. Aha! Uh -huh. I can't aim. I took like a heavy exchange in that first five seconds. Yeah, I've got to get some better armor. Let's see if her armor's any better. I do have, I do have some leather armor on me. Cause this, see, it's not heavy enough. Let me grab some water, make sure you're hydrated, and grab a doctor's bag. What the hell is that noise? There it is. We got like some basic supplies, not bad. Oh, cigarettes. They'll come in handy somewhere much later down the line. Great. More oversized bucks. Got them all. <laughs> Giant Mantis Nymph. Hydra. There'll be no hailing Hydra, only inhaling. And they had a prospector that they were holding. I use the term holding lightly because apparently he had a grease gun and some ammunition on him. Book on the road. Well, we're gonna get back on the road. 
Can I actually use that book, or is it just a collectible? Must be just a collectible. Okay, well, I'm gonna sort out my gear, and then we can get back out on the road. Well, I did pick up some nice loot there at the Nevada Highway Patrol, so we picked up a copy of Guns and Bullets. Guns increased by three. That's gonna come in handy, because apparently I can't hit squat. It does take a lot of practice when it comes to handling the firearm, and I did get shot in the head. Now, she likes me, she likes me not. Well, let's have a look at this tent. A note has been added to your pit boy to prepare you for Willow's first quest. Hey, did you see a couple of guys on the road just now? They robbed me, bastards. Was it the two I shot straight outside Prim? The two I shot outside of the highway patrol, or did they go the complete opposite way? Because if they came past me, I probably would have shot them. No, I'm not all right. They took my favorite rifle and some other stuff. I do have a pistol with me, but I've got no ammo for it, and my leg is hurt. Um, you want a stim pack? Only nine ninety nine four month installments. I have my reasons. I'm not thrilled about being alone, but I wasn't going to sit around in the Mojave outpost because of it. Hmm. Well, is there anything I can do to help? Want me to shoot somebody? I'm very good at it. Yes. Look at this. One of them dropped it. I think they'll be going to one of these places. I want to start looking for them at the closest one. However. I have a problem. I have a pistol, but no ammo. That's gone too. What you need? 9 mil, 10 mil, 45 ACP, 38, 40 Smith and Wesson, 357, 50 AE. He's not going to tell me. Okay. Um, <laughs> you need me to supply you to follow these guys. You also want me to come with you? Because you seriously need help. Yes, I would be so grateful. Maybe I could repay you some way. I, I don't have caps, but would you be interested in some company on the road? I'd be willing to travel with you for a while. Take night watch, kill critters, stuff like that. I'm fun to have around. What do you say? So long as you carry a lot of the crap that I have, because I pick up a lot of junk. I really need to look into my habit of picking up junk. Okay. And thank you so much. My name's Willow, by the way. It's nice to meet you. But please do hurry. I'm anxious to get going. I can see why this is kind of depressing. Oof. Another Desperado cowboy hat. Here goes Steak in a hat mug. She's only got the finest essentials. And an acoustic guitar. Nothing else? 20 gauge buckshot, I do actually need that, I'm running a little low off the prim. Paint gun, plunger. Just let me actively rob her, I could easily just um, point this gun at her and tell her to stay put, but... I'm a nice person, I don't rob people. Well, let's get outside. Oh, uh, whoops. Come along. Are you ready? Um... Let's see what ammo you need. Oh, sure. Of course. Holy crap, she's carrying as much junk as I do. Shorty. Well, crap. I don't want to share my 9 mil, but... I guess I will. She can have 50 bullets. Let's get going. Great! Listen, I want to tell you exactly what I lost. So you'll know what to look for, okay? You know about my rifle, Beauty, that's what I call her. And there are two other things. Chester, a teddy bear I've had forever, and Moira, a doll. I hope we find the toys. I'm embarrassed to admit this and know it sounds stupid, but I do love them. I can relate. I'd be very upset if I lost my Glock. I forgot to ask. What's your name? Potato. Thanks again for your help. Potato Sam. Okay. 
Well, this episode's starting to get a little too long, so what Hold I am up. going to I'm do... I'm thirsty and want a drink. I can't keep up the pace and drink at the same time. <laughs> flat on my face. Okay, you have a drink while I talk to the good people. Now, I'm going to leave this episode right here because I don't want to run it a little too dang long. But so far, we've accomplished a decent amount. So now, we're going to head... Next time, we're going to head up to what I presume to be the Mojave Outpost. We're going to investigate that. Then, I think... Yeah, our objective next is in that direction. So... At the Mojave Outpost, I can maybe request help for Prim, get some more supplies. Then we're going to cut across and head over to that town over there. Now, as for... As for... This video, I do want to thank you so much for watching. I do plan to try and get back into recording Fallout in Vegas at least once a week. Maybe every two weeks again. But I am back recording. And I hope to improve the quality of the videos. So I want to thank you so much for watching. And I do hope you enjoyed the video.